How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and welcome back to another mission of Stronghold HD. Today we'll be playing mission number four of the Call to Arms campaign called Crack the Chevalier, the Siege of Aka. As the march continues southward, the petty emirs along the way yield to the crusaders, agreeing to pay the tributes they demand. Resistance is met at the city of Aka, which refuses to surrender. The main part of the army is laying siege to Arka, but the men are becoming disheartened. Start construction of a new castle, Crack de Chevalier, and begin ale production to increase troop morale. There are large bands of raiders nearby that may prove to be a threat. Or they may not prove to be a threat. We'll see. Yeah, so we have um, a little bit of fertile land up there. You got the sign, couple signposts down here in the lower right corner, and then we have sort of a bluff up here. So what I'm going to be doing in terms of building, I'm going to be putting the keep uh, relatively close to the oasis for the uh, the bonus to food production because I'm going to be building some apple farms here. I'm going to be building some wheat farms, hop farms, all that good stuff. So I'm going to benefit from having the uh, stockpile closer to these this fertile land. We don't want to start out with uh, too many too many buildings need to get wood production up and going first. So that's four, five. What else do we want? Probably want to get rid of this tree here, so we'll put one there. Six, six, seven, eight. We have a whole bunch of trees over here, so nine and ten are both going there. I should clear out the trees, a couple of trees here, and then we can get started. Uh, let's expand the stockpile a little bit. I'm going to speed up the game to 60. Pretty decent pace. We're going to have to produce our own bows in this mission because we can't buy them from the market. I don't have enough wood to build a market yet. Um, I guess we can go up to 90 already. I'm basically just waiting for more wood at this point to start coming in. Um, I should have built a hovel. Hmm. Oh well, it's not going to be that significant in the long run. I'll get some wood relatively shortly, I'm sure. Yeah, instead of building a wheat farm, probably should have built a hovel. We do have some stone and some iron over here, but we're definitely not going to need any iron and probably not going to need any stone either. Okay, let's get that hovel up. We can finish um, recruiting population, recruiting peasants for those buildings, my woodcutter's huts especially, because we need a lot of wood. I'm going to put the granary right here, not the granary, the armory right there at the tip of the stockpile, and then we can get a couple of Fletchers up and running. I'd like to do that. Um, it would probably be pretty decent. We also need a barracks, but to build a barracks, we're going to need to go ahead and buy some stone. We can buy stone. That's pretty nice. We're going to buy 15 of it, sell that extra iron, and then we can go ahead. I'm just going to put the barracks up here. And I'm going to tell the archers just to rally on top of the keep as well as the spearmen. So that way when I recruit them, that's where they're going immediately. We have a lot of wood now. So or shall I, I probably should start working on... Not enough work is available to run doesn't this slow us down a little bit more? <sighs> Need to start building my bread economy. The objective of this mission, of course, is to... Um, like build it what do you call it building produce a total of 50 barrels of ale so i probably should get the hops farms started relatively soon so there are a couple of those can we get one more over here apparently not uh i wish the woodcutters would focus a couple on these two trees here once i get them out of the way that's going to help me because i can just build more farms there then Let's start building some bakeries over here, trying to keep them a little bit away from the granary because there are, is the threat of fire in this mission. So something to keep in mind. I'm not sure if uh, a well is really the best solution to that, but it's going to be better than nothing. The water pot is actually pretty cool in Stronghold Crusader as an upgrade from the standard well because you basically have three for the cost of only double so you get three well workers, and you only have to pay twice as much gold. But of course, it 
takes up a fair bit of space. Fire spread rates in Stronghold Crusader are identical to the original Stronghold. So you're going to have to contend with that in any missions that feature fire as a mechanic. Obviously, that could apply to any mission because let's delete that farm there, the apple farm. It can be featured in any mission because there are weapons of war that utilize fire. But most critically is uh, are the events when fire breaks out and you don't have uh, really much control over it. There's not a lot you can do to prevent it. It's a scripted event, so to speak. Overall, the amount of troops that are thrown against the player in this mission are pretty underwhelming, ultimately. We're getting a lot of wood in the stockpile now, so if we can afford, if we can afford a couple more Fletchers, I think, here. So maybe there, and... Hmm. There. I mean, there is a danger that that stuff all starts on fire. It fit a little well there. Maybe I'll do that. And I really wanted these woodcutters to cut these two trees down here, but they won't. So, apparently, I'm going to have to go woodcutter, woodcutter, and then delete a couple of the woodcutters over there. Because I really, really want those trees out of there. That way I can build farms there instead. They're... So far, those trees are holding back my progress. I probably should have focused on cutting them down earlier, but I didn't. I thought the woodcutters could handle them, but apparently they're going to be prioritizing other buildings instead. Basically, any mission that has uh, features fire as a mechanic, you're going to be... The, your results per mission will vary because it's not a guaranteed thing. Each mission can... Each time you play it, it can be different. The fire will choose a different building to target when the event rolls around. And can we get... Yeah, there. There we go. That should be enough. Put down enough wheat farms. Maybe put down another mill. And now we have some hops coming in. Let's start building some breweries. Turn those... Turn those hops into ale. That's the objective of this mission. But we're going to need more peasants. Like that. We have eight bows. Let's put a, a water... What are these things called? Water pots. Let's put one right there. I'm going to... Hmm. Increase taxes. Probably should increase food. Oh, wow. Let's just double the rations then. We are... Our granary is actually full, and I wasn't paying attention, and the scribe never mentioned it. Oh, speak of the devil. Now he mentions it. Oh well, I've already dealt with that problem, so... Not going to be an issue at this point. That's not good news. Try to recruit some more of these archers. How is the stockpile doing? We're holding up. Still nine flour. I'm gonna turn this water pot off. Finish recruiting. Those archers. And one more spearman. We're not going to be producing any spearmen. You don't say. Where are they? Lower right corner. Okay. They should just go right for the keep, really, since it's all open. I haven't built any towers or anything. <sighs> yeah, so we got uh, got some slingers here and a few horse archers. And slingers are no problem whatsoever. The horse archers can be a bit of a, a prickly situation if they manage to run around and shoot at all of your peasants like that. I mean, they, they are good at dodging arrows. They do They do distract the archers fairly well. You know, especially with the AI controlling it. There's one down. What are these, all these slingers doing? They're meleeing my Fletchers? Yeah, it looks like it. Wow, that's kind of weird. I guess we lost a couple Fletchers in the line of duty. They were on the, uh, 
Then the foregrounds, the battlefront. There seems to be a word that I can't think of to describe that. Wonder what it is. A little fuzzy right now, I suppose. Fuzzy in the mind, in the brain. Making words is not happening as frequently as it should. Okay, that's enough wood. Let's uh, start deleting this stuff. There really is no need for that many woodcutters. One more woodcutter left. Done. And done. Can we build one more farm somewhere in here? Be nice if we could, but I'm not going to be unhappy if we can't. Oh, there we go. One more farm or one more hops farm? Let's do hops instead of wheat. Let's, uh, oh, we can build two more. We have the peasants for it, so go ahead. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, we definitely need more hops, so I would say that was the proper decision. Really not keeping track of how many farms I have down. Otherwise, I have a better idea of uh, what to add to my economy. But having my brewer stand around doing nothing is not contributing in any way to the economy. I wonder, how are we doing in terms of granary rations? They're dwindling a little bit. We can get a lot of these uh, additional peasants to go ahead and man these water towers. Speak of the water, where is that fire? Where's the fire, son? It appears to be, ooh, it's, it's uh, way up here. Burnt down a, a hops farm, perhaps? I'm not sure. Either a hops or a wheat farm. That wasn't that serious at all, really. That could have been much deadlier if it actually struck any of this part of the economy. I mean, that is where the risk comes in. If it if it hits you right in the granary, that fire could spread out of control in no time, and I'd have to delete half of my buildings. We got uh, 23 out of 50 ale, so almost half completed already with the mission. That's quite nice. Only been attacked once so far. Yeah, I remember, uh, I tried recording this episode probably about three or four years ago now. <laughs> and I kept messing it up. This was really a long time ago. Like, it was probably 2012 or 2013. And I just really didn't understand how to record gameplay and whatnot. And, like, one time I think I forgot to record the audio. I wasn't, I wasn't capturing the audio for it. So... I just went, went, like, I went back and recorded it all over again, and it was a mess, but, you know, it was a learning experience, so. You can't be too, too critical of your past self, it seems like, because a lot of those experiences sort of helped you develop uh, the person that you are today. So it's just something to keep in mind. That was a little, it was an interesting little anecdote. We got uh, more slingers, more horse archers. Not a, not a problem. I mean, it could cause some damage to my economy, but I just don't see any any reason to build any walls in this mission. Overall, we have uh, 31 out of 50 ale. How is the stockpile looking? Looks like we have a, a small um, surplus of hops. Definitely have a lot of wheat or flour. So let's just uh, put down a few more bakeries. For no, eh, the granary is full anyway. Yeah, I sort of overbuilt my economy on this one. Probably should have focused more on hops. Then I would have been able to finish this episode that much faster. We are in 90, we're playing at 90 speed, so. I got it. Let's delete one of these wheat farms, replace it with a hop farm. We have enough. Uh... Oh, that's uh, that's a shame. You can delete these uh, farms and then just place them back down and it's faster than waiting for the farmer to go around and clear out all the dead um, like plants. So just something to keep in mind there for those of you who are doing economic missions where, the, where plant diseases like a uh, hop weevil or a blight devastating wheat farms is present. Yeah, you can just go ahead, delete those farms and place them back down and the farmer will get to work replanting the hops immediately. Compared to look at look at this one up here. This uh, this farm the the farmer just got started replanting it again. Whereas the ones that I replaced immediately, they're almost done. They're almost finished already. 
So you can shave off a small amount of time there. Um, especially since hop farms and wheat farms don't cost that much, like 15 wood. I have a ton of wood in, in my stockpile, so I will gladly trade that in for time. I think all of my, yeah, all my brewer, brewers, I hate that word, brewers. All my brewers are out of ale. Four, four more to go. We have, we're almost done, but four more. The granary is full. The granary is full. Just need four more ale, come on. Let's get these, get these hops in the stockpile. We can call it an episode. What do you say? Okay. Hops going into the stockpile. Not exactly sure why the attack size in this mission is so small. Like, do you really need towers and walls to defend against it? They give you towers and walls that you can build. They give you stone over here that you can mine, but... I think it sort of comes down to the fact that for some reason in Stronghold Crusader... You don't have the option to select different difficulties for each uh, mission. So you're basically playing it on low to medium, mid difficulty. Like, personally, I would say this much ale and that many, uh, that many soldiers, it, it's low difficulty. <laughs> like, I just, I just sort of came off playing Stronghold HD. Oh, there's Victory. I, I recently came off playing Stronghold HD on very hard difficulty, and this mission is a walk in the park. So, yeah, you say, well, why do you play it then? I want to complete the whole thing, you know? I want to, uh, It's sort of a, a personal objective of mine to go ahead and actually complete all of the Stronghold titles, eventually. That's what I'm working towards, long-term goal. Uh, anyway, that, uh, that finishes mission number four of the Call to Arms campaign in Stronghold Crusader HD. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and I hope to see you next time.